will in this session we will see how to do data driven test using excel file excel file will be having a data and that those values we will be setting in the properties test step from the properties step we will be passing those values in the test requests okay so before we start with the writing before we start writing the script for excel excel file so we have to make sure that we have jxl.jar file loaded in the bin folder of this hope you like is where it will be available is c program files okay now uh, where in the software version which we will be using and go to the bin then extension in this path you should have this jar file okay jxl any version you can take this jar file should be there okay now we will add the groovy test step okay on adding the text step we will come up with the groovy editor where you can write the groovy script to read to open and read the data from the excel sheet first okay before we start it for we can do we, we need to have a jxl dot jar in the extension folder of the software once once you have the jxl saved in the folder okay we need to import the jxl dot jar it will load all the functions all the classes all the classes of that file in the script we will be accessing using this method Using the import method, that workbook import to file. I have kept a file in D drive with the name my file dot xls. So it accepts only dot xls format. It won't accept dot xls x format. Yeah. So here we are accessing the workbook of the my file xml. Okay. Then we will be creating one object to access the sheet of the workbook yes sheet of save so whatever the index is you can give the name of the sheet in the double quotes or you can give the index id index id here it starts with the zero index id is in the excel when you open a new excel file okay there it will have three sheets by default sheet one sheet two sheet three the sheet one the index sheet one will be having the index value with the zero when you are using the dot jxl jar file okay or you can give the name of the sheet in double quotes like this now what we are doing here is using we are using the workbook wp so we are creating an object So which holds the workbook of the Excel file, and using that that object, we are accessing the sheet of the workbook that is the sheet one. Now, what we have to do? Now, we should know the row count. How many rows of data is there in the Excel file? How do we know that? So, we have to make use of the object of the sheet with get. Row. It this gives us the row count. How many rows are used in that sheet? Then we can use the 
same to get the column counts. This method gives us the total number of rows and total number of columns used in the Excel sheet. Let's see by printing those not dot info method is used to print the message. We will run this script first. Let's see whether it is working or not. So, after if the script is working fine, we will get the row count and the column count printed here in this console log output. So, it has got some error. Let's see. We will run the script and see. We got the row count 2 and column count 1. So, in that Excel sheet, in the my file, excel.xls file, we are we are in 2 rows and 1 column data. After that, so what we will do? So, using we will access the value from the Excel sheet and we will set that value. In the properties test step, okay. For that, we need to use the for loop to access the for i equal to one. So, first for row is used to access the row, uh, row count, so, and the second this one is used to go through the columns. The first one is to go through the rows, the first second one is to go through the columns. We will define an object set here equal to just run and just in get step by name of what we are doing here is we are accessing this test step and we are creating object for that step we are running everything ok we are creating object for that step so to do that one is test runner test case ok get the step by name we are accessing this step ok we are accessing the step this step where the step is residing this step is there in the test case so using the test runner test case get step by name we are accessing the test step name by accessing that and what we are what we are, what we are doing right now here is we will be creating a variable inside the property step test step in that we will be setting the value okay. before that what we will do we will access the value from the Excel sheet.
Okay, what we have done is we have accessed the cell value of one comma zero, and we have added to the variable where. Okay, and in that whatever you know, this where is the address of the cell with the value. Okay, this this where contains the address of the cell with the value. So to get the content of the where. Content of the cell, we should use. We should write like this: address dot content. So whatever the content is there, that we can print it. Okay, now let's see. Try to what it will print. Let me clear this one. So we have to access this. This is a step. So we need to access by the step name. See if we can and we will see by running it. Okay, we got the content here equal to fifty-five. 